Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing one of SVS's most popular subwoofers, the SB1000. This particular one is in the alternative gloss white finish, so I thought I'd share it with you. We've unboxed many SVS products so far and this one I really quite like. The style's excellent and the performance is excellent and it's relatively compact and being obviously one of the gloss and alternate colours, it's nice to see it as well. So please, hang around for the photographs and you'll get some good close-ups of it. Okay, so firstly, SVS. The boxes themselves are actually very, very well uh, produced. As in, they're all double boxed. It's designed, because this is a heavy product, it's designed to get it to you in one piece. The packaging is, is two colour. It's got blue and black writing and uh, model information on all sides. On just one end, we've got the scan barcode um, as so the barcode for the product and obviously its serial number. On the top, it's got some basic information about unboxing and some good advice as far as unboxing any heavier product. And that's to open the box and slide the box off the product, but we'll see that. Okay. Now, the packaging is very simple. Again, it's just double boxed. So sliding it open or cutting it open is very easy. Um, a simple trim reveals the inner box. Now I'm going to go one layer deeper because um, there's no real point in sort of slipping this off and showing you the boring inner box. There's actually there's nothing on it. Check out one of my other videos if you want to see the basic brown packaging that's inside. By doing this, it means that we can then roll the whole thing over and um, and see it out of the box quicker. Okay, so as I lift this and give it a little bit of a wiggle and then show you what's in the bottom of the box. So there's a bit of protective stuff but in the bottom, let's get that out with a knife I think. Right, so we'll get rid of the box. Okay, so firstly in the bottom of the box is the manual bit of information, quick setup and all of those things, it's colour, there's a warranty card if you want to fill it in, and there's the power cord. The packaging is excellent, you'll see here some, some great chunks of polystyrene to ensure that it does end up uh, with you in one piece, and if I lift that off, you'll see it's dedicated to this particular product to ensure it is it's not damaged at all in the Okay, so there's a piece of that uh, sort of bubble paper and uh, a plastic bag. Now it's worth mentioning um, uh, this is the New Zealand figure 8 power cord. Most likely this was um, opened by the distributor. The New Zealand power cord actually added before it was shipped to me. But we are unboxing it in the way that you would see it in your home. Okay, the next step's really easy. The subwoofers all come with an oversized plastic bag. So we're just going to slip that off carefully. Inside the plastic bag are two large desiccant bags, designed of course to absorb any moisture in transit and make sure that it ends up in perfect condition with you. Inside it, being a gloss finish, there's one of these protective sort of polish bags. It's an unusual sort of man-made material that is utilised to ensure it's protected and that the finish uh, looks absolutely immaculate. So sliding that off and rolling this around, we get to see this beautiful product. Okay. So firstly, being white, they've opted for the white grill. Uh, and we have a look. It's not very deep. It's not very tall. In fact, this is a beautiful, very compact subwoofer. The SB1000 tells me that it's a sealed box, and 1000 is showing that it's uh, uh, the smallest in the range, essentially. Um, they do a 2000 and so on as you climb up, even a 4000. Okay. Looking at the back. The traditional black uh, crossover network and amplification stages at the rear. Again, hang around for some photos. I'll take some close-ups of all of this so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, so starting at the back, let's have a quick look. Obviously an emulation of the model, serial number and other things in a barcode. Bit of information about SVS, bit of information about the power requirements. A simple figure 8 input and a good quality but small rocker switch for turning this unit on and off. Continuing along the bottom, we've got the speaker level input. These binding posts are of reasonably good quality and have a good fit and finish to them. They're nice and tight, they'll work well. 
This allows you to drop tap off an amplifier's speaker level, perhaps A and B speakers if you wanted to, and allow this to uh, take its feed from the same feed as your speakers. I guess most useful for a stereo setup. Above it is a stereo in and out, along with an LFE input for the use of home theatre. The input and output are clearly labelled and marked, uh, and it allows you to very, very simply plug a single mono input if it's being used in a home theatre environment. Above it is an output. This allows for a tape loop or a processor loop in and out, depending on how you may utilise this, uh, to allow the crossover to, to bleed the high, sorry, the low frequencies away from the smaller speakers in your system. Above it is a 12 volt trigger. Now this one indicates between 3 and 12 volts. Basically you can turn this on and off with a trigger of some kind, whether it be an automation product or just the output from a home theatre amplifier, ensuring that this turns on and off rather than going into its own standby. Above it is a switch in, uh, about the status of, of its on and off, whether it's on all the time or in its auto mode which will automatically sense an input and when that input uh, drops below a lower amount it turns itself off. Continuing up we've got the um, low pass filter or essentially uh, telling the subwoofer at what point it's going to do some work. Um, if it's in a home theatre mode you should wind it all the way up and let the settings of the theatre amplifier determine what the subwoofer is doing. If you're putting in line level or uh, looping it in and out, this gives you a very useful ability to uh, bleed the right low frequencies in here and out again to the speakers. Um, it is worth mentioning, of course, that the subwoofer will always try to do its lowest frequency. So by adjusting this, you're telling it at what point the highest frequency it will produce. Above it is phase. And it's excellent to see that this is an infinitely variable phase between 180 and 0. Uh, that's a nice little feature because you can't always place the subwoofer in an appropriate location or you may get some reverberation or, or other noting in the room that could, could easily be cancelled or improved with the use of adjusting a phase. Now obviously above that, the most commonly used volume control. This is uh, the ability of course for you to set it up so that it's appropriate for your room and your listening environment and perhaps even to give it a little bit more slam and pizzazz when uh, listening to movies, or turn it back down again for, mu for music. Spinning it around, you get to see this beautiful gloss finish again, and, and it, is, it is lovely. And it's white grill. Now other than the SVS logo, the unit is, uh, the grill itself is white, and if I just pry that off, by the way, it's got pegs or pucks um, holding it on, with big rubber sink uh, to hold it all in. This is a um, uh, I don't think it's MDF, I think it's a man-made material like a plastic of some kind that is then routed to match up. Everything is very stiff, it's a really, really good grill. And again, hang around for some photographs, I'll take some close-ups. Okay, now, to the working of this subwoofer itself. This driver is amazing. It's tough, it's stiff, it's beautifully well built, very high excursion. It's about a 13 inch or something like that, let's say 12. 13 inch, um, custom made by SVS for SVS, big endless, allowing it to extra, uh, you know, move with freedom, and it's beautiful to see something so well built in such a cost effective, if not budget, um, subwoofer. The only other thing on the front is its power. This is a, a tricolor LED. It's obviously um, unpowered now, but it's uh, red and green and blue depending on its status, uh, and it's good to indicate what's going on. So. Um, look at this beautiful subwoofer, the SB1000 from SVS, uh, the pinnacle of budget subwoofers, uh, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. <laughs>